is a nightmare for Penn State alumni that they just can't seem to wake up from, they say. Their beloved university disgraced, their iconic coach gone now. News Channel 5's Marissa Bag has more on how the Nittany Lion faithful are coping. The torment is non-stop for Penn State alumnus Guy Gualtieri. It's hard for him to take his eyes off the screen. He's equally overwhelmed with disbelief and heartbreak. The reputation of that university is tarnished. In a matter of days, a sex abuse scandal has stripped the university of its glory. Gualtieri says the children are the true victims here. But he still has great respect for the man affectionately known as Joe Pa. He and many others support punishing Paterno, agreeing that not alerting police to the alleged abuse was a grave mistake. But they don't feel Paterno should have been fired. Maybe Joe at the time thought he was doing the right thing and he was doing all he could do at the time. Considering all the right and all the good things he's done in this for, the, for Penn State and for young people, I find it hard to believe that he would just not care about the plight of these children. The negative firestorm that now surrounds Paterno and the university only intensifies the shame. I would say that I'm a little embarrassed to wear my Penn State shirt. This scandal will be the first thing that people think of when they think of Penn State now. And if you're a Penn State fan, graduate, whatever, it's, that's a horrible feeling to know something you were once so proud of now is looked upon in such a bad way. As an alumni, I'm going to have a hard time making that check out this year. I'm going to think real hard about this. It could impact the school's future for a long time to come. Collectively, alumni are upset with the way Paterno was told he was fired. The Board of Trustees didn't inform him in person. Reporting in the newsroom, Marissa Bagg, WPTV News Channel 5.